What up guys, your boy Quake and Machine Gun Kelly has officially responded to Eminem's kill shot track immediately wasting no time. Usually whenever Eminem releases something, the whole world reacts to it from celebrities to even hip hop artists. A lot of people were surprised that Eminem responded because he was doing the Kamikaze interview with Sway and that's where he addressed Machine Gun Kelly. So a lot of people were expecting not to get a diss track because in the interview he said, I don't like responding to artists that are smaller than me because they become way bigger. Regardless, Eminem went at him today. Machine Gun Kelly heard the diss track and wasn't impressed. He tweeted a picture of a bunch of voters holding six out of 10, I assume is the score, meaning that it's a decent diss track. And in the caption, he said, two weeks and three interviews later with a laughing emoji, toilet, garbage, and then he hashtag leg shot, let's talk about it. Basically saying, you know, it took you two weeks to release this diss track and you did three interviews. I believe what he means is part three parts of an interview because he only did one interview and that's with Sway. And then with the hashtag leg shot, he means you didn't really go that hard. You know, you just it's like when you shoot somebody, you just shoot them in the leg. You know, they're not going to die. You're just doing a little bit of damage. Then he quoted his song. Let's talk about it. And while saying that he announced that he's releasing a new EP called Binge on September 21st, which is a smart move. It's a smart marketing move. Everybody's paying attention to him. So I assume on that EP, he's going to have his response this. In terms of what Machine Gun Kelly said about this diss track, saying that it took him two weeks to release it, I believe that's a dumb response just because I think we should give artists time to release their diss tracks. Diss tracks take time, a lot of lyrical ability, especially if you're a lyrical artist. You know, we shouldn't rush artists and clown them for taking their time to make a diss track. If you guys don't know, when Nas and Jay-Z were going at it, it literally took six months for each artist to release their diss track. We had to wait for the album to come out just to hear the diss. I know we live in a fast-paced internet social media era so i know people want the diss tracks asap as quick as possible but i believe taking your time there should be no reason to clown an artist for taking their time unless it takes like a whole year then you know you can clown them because that's just way too much time now let's talk about the other people that have reacted to this track namely the ones that were mentioned in there in the bars you dance around it like a sombrero we can all see you're fucking salty because young gerald's balls deep inside of halsley that's where g easy is mentioned and he reacted to the track on instagram simply posting a picture of him and eminem and in the caption he said let's talk about it iggy azalea was mentioned in the track in the bars you ain't never made a list next to no biggie no j next to taylor swift and that iggy ho you about to really blow and Iggy Azalea responded on Twitter saying this song shouldn't be filled with celebrity name drops to pat out lazy bars and that's my unbiased opinion from a girl that watched this guy's set and sung the words in the crowd I think it regardless one of the greatest to do it I'm not in dispute about that but I do think the name dropping thing has become a crutch I am beyond prepared to be trolled for this opinion and let's talk about why it's lazy but it wasn't in the earlier work the earlier stuff was crazy Crazy, twisted and creative this stuff feels like picking names that fit easily into a rhyme scheme benzino who was also mentioned in the track and has had previous beef with eminem simply tweeted a trash can and somebody in the response has said you're talking about your career right now jay electronica responded to the track even though he wasn't mentioned on it he replied to eminem on twitter saying how dare you accuse diddy of killing tupac while you completely look past Jimmy Iovine, who's the CEO or formerly was the CEO of Interscope Records, and those who profited from his death the most. You best tread carefully, son, before I come tear your ivory tower down like Solomon donned the Templar Knights. And we all know Jay Electronica is probably going to respond to Eminem on a diss track in the year 2038 because this man takes forever just to release one song 50 cent his close friend responded to it as well he posted a picture of the track on his instagram and captioned it saying don't act like you didn't know this would happen oh my what have you gotten yourself into get the strap the game even responded to it and as we all know the game has mentioned in interviews that he would never diss eminem because of the lyrical bars that he has he posted the picture of the track and in the caption he said Eminem, what the fuck did I just hear with a bunch of fire emojis? And then he hashtagged, this is why I rap, goat shit, aftermath, what the entire fuck blood. 
Joe Bunn was mentioned in the track briefly, and he responded to a fan saying, M again with the little taps. I love Eminem, but I honestly think he may be a little scared of full-on dissing you. Joe Budden quoted that and said, I told y'all that two weeks ago and got called crazy. And in that tweet, he simply it's clear that he's simply tempting Eminem to go at him more. Bizarre and Vince Staples decided to respond to the Eminem track in an Instagram video. Mr. Kelly, I tried to warn you. And Joe Buttons, I'm doing good, baby. I'm all right, I'm doing good. Hey, look, Machine Gun. Look, Marsh. I need y'all to run it, bro. It's a lot being said, I respect it, but you know. The challenge is called the squabble up, cuz so. Oh, oh, shit. Fresh out the Maybach, man. Listen, M, that wasn't it, homie. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know the kid. Uh, what, MGK? I don't even know the kid. But I know you a legend, man. That, that wasn't it, man. You out of pocket, and you ratting, too. You ratting. All that crazy shit, man. You out of pocket, M. Come on, man. Go get Diddy tied up in that shit. That's it for most of the responses to Eminem's diss track, Kill Shot. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Machine Gun Kelly is going to respond to Eminem and that new EP that he's releasing this upcoming Friday? And if he does, what do you think he's going to say? Will he have some dirt on Eminem that the world doesn't know about? Will he just simply say the same thing he did on the last track and hope it works again? Will he be more lyrical? Because right now it's looking half and half in terms of what the public thinks about these diss tracks. A lot of people are siding with Eminem and a lot of people are siding with Machine Gun Kelly. That's it for this video. Leave a comment below. If you want to support the channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more. You can help support this channel further. A link is in the description below. Like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I do videos like this daily on hip hop news. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. Like us on Facebook and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.